Welcome back to Let's Play Nobody Saves the World. We are here in Big Gnarly, the tree dungeon, where everything does 9,999 times more damage than it normally does. And the guard here is having quite a time staying alive. Both of those directions lead to uh, fighting rooms, so let's see where this one goes. It's a fighting room! Let's just go in since we're already here. Oh, oh dear, this is one of the bomb guys. I remember now. Uh, uh. No, no, I'm not gonna panic about this. I just need to think this through. Uh, no, <laughs> that's a terrible idea. Oh god, all of my uh, dark attacks are real close up, aren't they? Fuck! And I can't poison them because I can't land attacks. It can't be that easy. Ah! How the hell did I survive? Oh my god, they all went off at once, so I only took one-fifth of my full health. Holy shit! How did that one work? Curse you! Wait, what's that? Oh, yeah, blah, blah. I hadn't actually looked at that up close yet over here. Oh, God, they really are! This one requires someone to be poisoned, which I can't do if I can't hit anyone. This one has to be done straight up in their faces. This one has to be done straight up in their faces. This I have to pass through them. Although I suppose if I did do that, uh, I wouldn't be taking damage. I don't think he enjoyed that at all. Thanks, ghost! Jeez, I was level one, too. Blob thing back on there, and I'm going to go back to the guard, and I'm going to swap out that shield for. No, I'm going to swap out Zombite for the other thing. The shield is still pretty useful. Although, while I'm here. Uh... Aha! There we go. Let's, pro let's promote Ethereal for. Actually, that was a really good showing right there. Lower the move cost to minus 25% and cut, knock 5 mana off the actual attack cost. Yay! Uh, let me see here. Oh, yes. Shout out to Justin Jones. He says, Do you think that the developers would have made the Walking Around Infinite Quest available much earlier in the game? Uh, I've done both things of making coffee. Forgetting to put the damn coffee into the damn machine, and not placing the pot in correctly, resulting in a horrible mess. Here's a thing I thought was interesting. In a previous episode, didn't you say the river in the jungle is yellow? If nobody's blood is yellow, then wouldn't it be possible that the river could be blood? Or is it a different shade of yellow? That's something I had not considered. How very alarming. Also, yellow blood... Is the tall man from Phantasm running around in this game? And, uh... I was vaguely aware of Phantasm as a horror movie franchise, but I didn't really know anything about it except that it was about, like, flying murder balls or something? But, uh, this is the sentence that gives me pause. You'd better hope not. He makes Tommy the Xenomorph look positively cuddly. Good God, man. Oh, hey, a chest. That's a nice one, too. I got $206 redos out of that. Oh, it's a key, of course. I have to do all three of these combat challenges to get all three keys I need. 
would have been so fucking pissed if it had closed again and started that combat thing over again. I gotta say, all those thoughts I was having about the ghost actually being a corporeal recreation of a ghost because I'm a shapeshifter, they get really, really weird when I can fade into nothingness as the guard. I mean, even his fucking shadow disappears when I do that. Oh boy! Oh, oh shit! Kill the slugs, kill- not the slugs, kill the leeches, kill the leeches! Oh no. Ah oh, shit! That didn't work. We still won because of the egg thing, but god damn. I feel like I'd be confetti, but yeah, that was great, except I ran out of mana really quickly. Uh, I neglected to consider how rapidly the uh, guard runs out of energy. Infinite quest, get health. Pick up health items. You know the 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 image of Nostromagus smiling gleefully and holding up two fingers like a V for victory thing makes way more sense now that I know that Nostromagus is me. Because he clearly is a very silly person, whether he remembers that or not. What the hell am I doing? I'm not wandering as nobody. Not here. Good god, man. G acquired. Wait a minute. Oh, no, that's not part of... Never mind. thought the sort of thing kept going for a bit there. The more I think about the yellow blood, the more I hate it. I mean, you know, I've seen all kinds of colors of blood in fiction. Vulcans from Star Trek famously have bright green blood. Klingons are usually depicted as having blood that's red like a human's, but at least once it was depicted as being Pepto-Bismol pink. Um, I think the Andorians have dark blue blood. Halo is a cornucopia of funny blood colors. You know, you got the grunts whose blood is fluorescent green and glows in the dark in oxygenated environments because their home planet has a methane atmosphere. Uh, there's the uh, the elites who have uh, dark purple-blue blood, which is the same shade as all their vehicles, which made me realize some things about them. Oh yes, and then there's the Flood, whose blood is both green and chunky. I think the boomerangs are slower than usual. Gotta time this perfectly. Ooh! I had a thought, I had a thought. Um, I mean, the poison doesn't matter here, it really doesn't, so health items also restore mana. Oh, shit! How did that work? That was a blunt attack. Ah! Oh god, oh jeez! Keep moving! Nope, no you don't. You don't get to do that. That's weird, not all of the things made a noise. As they retracted, I mean. Oops. Hang on. 
thought my base health was like a flat 3,000 or something like that. What just happened? Because I was in a different... No, maybe it was because I was this at the time. Fuck. I mean, the stat screens are meaningless, unless you remember all the stats for every class, class, form. No, I haven't said anything about it lately, but... Even on this dirt floor, the spot where you pick up the key is surrounded by, like, a rectangle. A very clearly defined black outline rectangle on the floor. Such that the first time I found one of these, I was certain it was a trapdoor. But I guess I'm gonna just drew a rectangle on the floor and left the key in the middle of it. Uh... Right, let's head back to the middle. Seven levels higher than I need to be. I feel like I can do this. Knock, knock! What the fuck does a locksmith do in this kingdom? If the keys destroy the locks, what does a locksmith do? Oh, they just make new locks and sell them to people. <laughs> fungus in here. Oh no, the boss room. Wow, wow, this floor is very minimalist. The, uh, the teleport panel can't be more than 50 feet from the uh, staircase. And then the entrance to the boss room can't be more than 30 feet past that. I slayed the boss! The boss suffered from the same ailment as everyone else! He didn't even get a chance to do anything! He just dropped down, I killed him, and all the ads died. It was, uh... For the record, Justin, it was one of the big spinny guys with the no heads and no legs. With the big, big ones, I mean. I didn't even see what the number was on his level! And that means I can do this. Quest complete. Clear the big gnarly dungeon. Tubular. Oh, more lines carved in the thing here, except they're the random squares and shapes and... Weird. But I have done it. This had been itching at me. In the same way that Moltopia and the Crystal were itching at me, and now it has been scratched quite thoroughly. Later, Big Gnarly! I came, I saw, I conquered. Veni Vidi Vici. You know, I'm, uh, technically, uh, descended from the English on my mother's side, so of course we have a family motto. It's actually not that far off from that. I mean, we use the one from Dad's side of the family. They're Irish originally. Although, let's face it, uh, after these generations, they're newfies now. <laughs> I make no, uh, claims to Irish heritage. But, uh... I always liked how unusually straightforward the family motto was. Certave e vici. I have fought and conquered. Let's see if Octavia has anything to say to me other than the usual. I don't suppose you've invented making more of the cure yet. God damn it, let me know if your friend feels better. Y you know, I don't think I actually made something clear, uh, now that I think about Danielle the mummy here. Uh, for Justin, 
she doesn't look like an ancient corpse wrapped in bandages. The, I can... Well, she's got every inch of her skin covered except for right around her eyes, like a ninja's costume. But the skin you can see there is pink, healthy. You know, it's not like green or rotted or emaciated or anything. You know, it's just pink. Which gives me the impression that she just does this. She just likes to wrap herself in bandages. So everyone calls her Danielle the Mummy. Or fuck, I don't know. Maybe she's a 4,000-year-old priestess and she's just cute. <laughs> I know think of the last two gem shards. Yeah, if I power the, the death ray with the, uh, the shards. Hmm. I suppose I could borrow this broom and just fly around. That would be cool. I like that they took the time to write everything on that Ouija board over there. Just a random thought there. Oh. Look at that. I think I see a way to that chest over there. It doesn't involve running into the wall, though, so I shouldn't do that. Pardon me. Oh, my bad. I am literally running circles around these guys because of how much faster the horse is. Oh. I was looking at the mini-map and I was moving there. Excuse me. Oh yeah, it's right there. I honestly thought there was going to be something stopping me and I was going to feel foolish for forgetting what had stopped me before. It's kind of a thing with this game. When I go around like this, I like to imagine that she's just trailing her hands in the water and pulling up bigger and bigger bubbles as she goes. Like just pulling the water up into her hands. I mean, she does sort of go face first with her arms behind her as she swims along. I mean, okay, she's holding her hands like she wants to dig her claws into someone's face, but... How dare you, you monster! You bastard! What? This isn't a save crystal. Where the hell am I? Oh. There are some fuckers that need flattening. Wait. Uh, ranged attacks, check. Flex, check. Stun. Check. Oops, that. Oh, no, that's not a. Never mind. That's just a regular ass story quest right there. Hi, everyone! <laughs> thing and the uh, monster that created it. You know, they're really just like bugs, those guys over there. But there's something so fucking creepy about something with the head of a... with the eyes of a dragonfly and human teeth. They really do look like skulls, don't they, dragonfly heads, if you put a mouth on them? Huh. Let me at him! Now then, I believe I had a prize to claim. Oh, hey, there's a thing right there. Nice. 
Maybe I'll heal just in case. Good call. Get closer, you fuckers. Oh, shit. Hit four baddies with one tail swipe. Butts! Wait, which one is water burst? Is that the base? Yeah, the basic one. Okay, so I will swap out, say, the shield thing with bump up. Oh, shit. Specifically with water burst. Fuck! I just read that. Why did I forget that? That's important. Some baddies with water burst. Nah, I'll sign off as the slug. I'm Burning Dog Face, and I'll see you on the next episode of Let's Play Nobody Saves the World. Still many more things to be done. Many more people to be helped. Many more dun dungeons to conquer. Till then. Later!